Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is just a quick video on how I afford my fragrances. Because as you know, I've been buying a lot and I will continue to buy a lot. But for those who are just wondering like, how she afforded to buy all those fragrances? Some of them are pricey. I'm trying to think, have I ever paid full price for a fragrance before? The only thing I remember recently is probably paying full price for my Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. Um, it was in a set and I had just started buying perfumes. So when I saw it, I thought 45 pounds. I think that was a deal that they said that they were going for. But I only got a 30 mil and then a little travel size of a 10 mil. So in all, like, yeah, 40 mil for 45 pounds. I don't know if that was a good deal. I think I could have got better. But yeah, that's so... I definitely use eBay and Amazon and Fragrance Direct as well. FragranceDirect.co.uk. I also found another site called Perfume Click. I will leave links down below or the names of the websites that I'm speaking of. I haven't ordered from them as yet, but I found some good deals and I researched to find out whether it's authentic or not. So they definitely have um, a section on their website in the like about us section where it tells you that all their fragrances are genuine and that they are just able to make it cheaper because they don't have a middleman or they don't have advertisements or something like that so definitely check out those websites um for ebay i bid on people's perfumes sometimes i know that a lot of people can't be bothered to do that but i quite enjoy it i like the rush of like i literally get excited when a perfume is like two minutes to go and someone is like the highest bid and it says like six bids or whatever amount of bids but they think that they're the highest because they currently are but I watch it, then it, I write in my number that I'm gonna bid, which I normally go up like seven to 10 pounds higher than them because it doesn't matter what you go above them. You just have to go at your highest that you're willing to pay because what it does is it knocks them off. Like it won't show your highest bid. You basically win it for their price that they bid. You win it for the lowest bid, even though you've bid higher. Does that make sense? So I be watching it, and then at like a minute, I write in my price, and I'll write like 20 pounds. And then I don't press confirm. I wait and wait, and then it reaches like 30 seconds. I'm starting to get nervous. I'm starting to get, because I don't know if my phone connection is going to cut out or whatever when I try to press confirm. And then it goes down to like 20 seconds. 15 seconds and I bid. By the time that I bid and that person is typing in their number, this is how I imagine that they're behind the scenes going, oh my God, and they're trying to type it in. 10 seconds, nine seconds, eight, one second, and it's done and I win it. And I'm like, boom, sorry. And that's literally how I bid. So I got a lot of my perfumes like that. I got um, my Burberry Her perfume for I think 27 pounds. I got my my Versace perfume as well for I think 30 pounds I bid sometimes it's people that are selling their perfumes so if you don't feel comfortable like you're like that price is too low if it's too 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 low I don't know be careful about that the people that I purchase from sometimes they show the bottom of the perfumes and stuff which comes with like batch numbers and so forth to show the authenticity of the perfume or sometimes I just message the seller if they haven't included it in their description box which sometimes they do as well they will say this is an authentic perfume which I know people can lie but a lot of the times they aren't lying they're just trying to sell their perfume they probably bought it years ago or they got it as a gift and they're trying to make some money so sometimes they don't know how much it retails for they're just like oh i don't like it let me just send it sell it for 30 pounds and they put it up on ebay and i'm like i see the deal and i grab it so yeah that's how i bought um some of my perfumes and on ebay you have legit fragrance companies that sell directly through ebay so it's not like you're always buying from a person you don't have to so yeah so i message people i bid i buy on ebay and those other websites and i buy during sales i got my dolce and gabbana for 25 pounds 25 pounds so i just picked up two at the same time which is basically like getting a hundred mil because these are both 50 mil each sometimes they have the 
sale on a bigger bottle and they won't have it in a little one so it works out better for you to buy the bigger bottle so it just depends that's how i got this one let me see like even my versace crystal noir as well the 50 mil was for 25 pounds whereas the 30 mil was for like 40 something pounds or 50 something pounds and it just happened that the 50 mil was on sale so yeah another way i am able to buy my fragrances is i sell fragrances that aren't up to my liking and sometimes i sell it for a little bit more than i actually pay purchased for it and i mean i at first i was like is that like tricking people out or something like that or like cheating but no it's my own i paid my money for it and i can sell it for higher if i want to i'm not like an extortionist or anything it's it's the business if you don't want the perfume you don't have to buy it um for example i have like even my Kaylee perfume up on eBay at the moment and this perfume I actually got free and I sell it lower than the retail price enough to make people want to buy it because it is like 67 pounds on their website plus like three to five pounds delivery so you're talking 70 something pounds and I'm selling it for 50 pounds so yeah I can sell whatever I want if I got it as a gift or whatever and make my money and then sometimes i use that money and buy back fragrances so it just depends on how i feel so with my dolce and gabbana my intention was to sell it back on ebay since i got it on a deal i was going to sell it but i really like it so i just kept two of them and by the time i went back to look like they were sold out so i couldn't even get any more i told my sister about it and she bought two as well the same day that i bought it so she probably won that bought the last two <laughs> Because she loves buying the last of everything if she sees it says the last one Sometimes she doesn't need it and it's like I have to have it I have to and I was like no you don't and she buys it because it's the last one and she feels like if she doesn't buy it She's gonna miss out and she's gonna regret it. So yeah, so I bought those Yeah, so I can buy stuff on sale and then I can resell them how eBay works is so far Well, I haven't had to pay anything except if I pay them to promote something that I'm having a hard time selling You just click like promote and I guess I don't know what they do behind the scenes and it gets shown to more people and if it sells that way you pay them like like a pound or something depends on how much you're selling it for you just pay them a percentage of it and it's not normally a lot because you're not normally selling something for like two three four hundred pounds or whatever so it, well I'm not so it just depends so I don't know if like I'm giving out my secret of like buying perfumes when they're on sale and then selling them back because you can make money that way but you also have to have the money to purchase the perfumes in order to resell them. So it just depends on, you know, your budget or your finances or whatever you want to spend your money on at that time. But yeah, that's basically how I buy fragrances and make money from my fragrances as well. Because people don't ever get it twisted. People buy almost anything. People are even buying empty bottles. And if I had known that, I wouldn't have thrown away all the empty bottles of fragrances that I had. And that's what I'm going to do when my perfume finishes and if i don't choose to keep the bottle i will be selling them on ebay as well like literally you can buy perfumes that have this much of perfume left in there like all the way down and someone will buy it because they just want a tester or someone will buy it just because they want a collector's bottle so you literally can sell anything you can sell an empty box on ebay i can go and say that i'm selling this kelly box obviously just put it in the description box you can't trick people out but literally i can go and put this up on ebay right now so yeah don't feel like you can't sell anything on ebay you can make money a lot of ways okay so yeah i think that's about it hopefully this video was helpful and don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i will see you in another one bye